everybody. I hope you guys had an amazing, amazing day like always. So, as you guys probably may notice, um, my name channel on YouTube, I'm doing laundry so it's pretty loud over here, but my name channel on YouTube has changed. The reason being, I'm watching my door right now. I'm just waiting for my daughter to get in before I can shut the door. You guys don't listen to that laundry going on. Okay. Close. Anyways. So, Gamma. What you been eating, huh? You have chocolate or something all over your face. Okay. So, my YouTube channel has been changed. The name to, from Rabbit Your Girl to, oh my God, look at her face. <laughs> From Rabbit Tree Girl to Little Homestead Adventures. I honestly ah. love this name. I don't even know where I got it from. Like, I I was looking at, like, websites and, and, and YouTubers, other YouTubers' names. And I really love their, you know, their unique names. So, I, I just came up with Little because my homestead is small. Little Homestead Adventures because this is just an adventure and this is awesome and i just i just love everything that has to do with homestead i can't wait there's gonna be really good changes uh we're gonna get a bigger property so i'm real pumped about it real pumped about it but as of right now we're gonna be um i'm gonna i want to be showing you i want to show you what new things we got here in the homestead Gemma, what what <laughs> so this is Isabella by the way oh these birds how they love to fly they've been flying all over the place you guys can see the birds are over there they're pretty cool so let's flip the camera and let's start with the basic stuff to do a successful brooder and have successful chicks all right well as you can see this is my brooder it's uh, one of those gallon buckets thing. Not buckets, but you know what I mean. Those gallon tubs. Uh, so this is my heat lamp up there. These are two-week-old Caternix quails. They were born on, the, born on the 11th of March, so this month. So here they are. I have... Uh, I'm not sure you can see them. Let's see. Go under here. Oh, you guys can see. You know, the measurements. I don't know if this shows the measurements or not, but there it is. That's what it is. So, there is 17 Caternix quills in here. I got them from my Shire farm, family farm. So, well, actually, I bought them from a local uh, breeder here where I live. But he got them from my Shire farm. Like, it was whole, so cool. I was like, really? I was surprised. Like, oh, my gosh, that's really cool. I love I love their setup. I love their farm. I love, you know, like, everything they have to do with quails. It's absolutely amazing. But um, these are the quails I got. Um, no, no, mama. Yeah, you seeing them? Yeah. So, basically, what you want a brooder. Here, we're using um, this kind of shavings over here. This is pretty much, like... Uh, what kind of shavings are these? Um, let's see. I don't even know. But you guys can see right there. Aspen or something. She's getting mad because I don't let her come in here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're using those type of shavings. Uh, quills are very, very birds that they can literally, when they're like one week old or like less than a week old, they can drown in their own water. So you want to make sure you put some marbles in the water or something. Uh, and make sure you put more a lot of water in there because they drink like crazy. They go, they go maybe like, they go maybe like, um, okay, I got you now. <laughs> All right, they go maybe like three of this full per day, and then their feed is down there. They're very messy birds, just letting you guys know that. They're very messy birds, and they were literally like, Put all those things so I put a, a, a plywood in the bottom of the water because the shavings were getting in there so that was really you know irritating every time I had to change it because 
they put shavings in there. So I had to change it every time. So we have 17 quails here. Uh, basically, my brood was pretty, pretty, um, pretty, uh, basic. I'm just using one of this heat lamps. I think it's like, I don't even know, 150, I think, watts or 170 watts. I don't really remember what it was. But, um, yeah, pretty, it's pretty easy raising quails, to be honest. You don't need a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of, like, setup. You just need their water, their feed, their shavings, their heating lamp, and you're set to go. Like, that's pretty much what you need. You don't need a whole bunch of stuff. It's pretty easy. Um, oh, the birds are being loud. You guys are being loud? Huh? Are you guys being loud? You guys happy? Okay, let me see you guys. These are happy birds? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. These are happy birds? Yeah. yeah. The cockatoos right there. Yeah. I absolutely love their setup. No. Really, really cool. Love the setup. There's no birds on this one, by the way. Love it only in this one. Cockatoos in this one. Parakeets in this one. And more parakeets in that one over there. I'm planning to put lover birds on this cage right here, but um, we're not still there. We're not still there. I haven't found a really good breeding set of cockatiels, so I'm just waiting for the good, good breeders. <laughs> um, Bella, Bella. So, yeah, guys. So it's pretty, pretty easy. Um, um, when they're here. You want to keep them here for at least four and a half to five weeks old, just because they want to. You want to make sure they have, you know, their full feathers. They can keep warm outside. Let me tell you, these birds are really, really good at thriving in the cold and in summer. You want to make sure you put lots of water though in summer, and you want to make sure you don't ever run out of feed, because when you run out of feed. They will start attacking people. Like they will start attack attacking one another. If they don't have feed, they will start start attacking one another. It's a really, um, you know, nor not normal, but I guess it, it happens a lot with quails that they attack one one another when they don't have feed. So you want to make sure constantly feeding them, giving their feed, because they will literally go crazy at one another. So you want to make sure there's a lot of feed in there. Um, as you can see right now, I'm using this type of feed right there but i i am um i am going to be using the the tupperware you put holes inside you know i'm using that because i think that's pretty cool and i think that will keep the feed uh don't waste a lot of feed you know what i'm saying so so yeah and right here next to it i know you guys are probably wondering what we got up there we have there some quail eggs some quail eggs in here incubating. You can see that right there. Some quail eggs. Um, we have 24 quail eggs in here. Uh, we're just waiting for them. And that video will go up. I'm doing a... Oh, sorry. I'm doing a full from start to finish hatching eggs. So that video will be going up here about a week or two. Um, depends when they hatch. <laughs> But they should be hatching. Um, oh, no, no, no. No, no. No, no. She will mess with them and she will literally open the thing. <laughs> All right. So, so this is. No, baby. No, no. No, no. And these qual eggs, I got them from another hatchery here in, in, in town. So, they're not from the same. So I want them to be different bloodlines, you know? No, no, no. Hey. No, no. I wanted them to be on different bloodlines. So I wanted to make sure I have different, you know, hatcheries and stuff. So this is my bird room. I have the aspen shavings. Oh, they're flying. Um, we do have to fix the ceiling up there. It's like with water and snow, it, it like makes it bad. So I have to fix that up there. Oh, baby. Come over here. Come over here. All right. 
So this is pretty much my bird room right here. I have the stuff, and these are for the quails. Um, because I'm gonna be getting new new batch of quails, so this is for the quails up there. This is where they're gonna be. This there's, there's some shavings in the bottom. This is just where I keep all my stuff for the quails. Uh, the cleaning supplies, the eggs, cartons, and all that kind of stuff. And no, uh, Christian. Uh-uh. No, no. Um, so, yeah. I have four cages. One, two, three, four. What are you doing inside the cage? Salte. Mente. Mente. This is what happened. This is why you never leave your kids inside the bird room ever because they will do this come on get down oh my gosh come on come on come on, come on. get down put your head down come on he does not want to come out come on come on come on come on, come on. Come on. so it's really good to involve your kids but if you have Kids like my kids, I get into everything. I don't know about it. <laughs> Think about it again. Uh, we're going to be leaving here real soon because I have to work. So, the kid, the, no, no, don't scare them. So, um, they will be, they will be alone so they can have fun without kids and disturbments and stuff. Okay, I'm going again. No, Christian. There's a, there's a thing about birds. If you scare them, they're like chickens. If you scare them, they do not lay eggs, okay? We want them to lay eggs. So if you can help not having your kids around your birds, please do it because honestly, it's just, they're just stressing the heck out of them. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's pretty much how it goes. Um, this is the bird room. Welcome to the bird room. I'm really thrilled, really excited by the oncoming great things that is gonna happen in this homestead. I hope you guys subscribe and comment down below what you think I should change, what do you think I'm doing wrong, uh, recommendations, all acceptable, okay? No hate, no hate, all acceptable. Um, so yeah, guys, um, by the way, I do have rabbits. I don't know if you guys know that, but I do have rabbits and I will show you the guys them in the next video, okay? I have, I don't know how much I have, like four rabbits maybe, yeah. Uh, like mixed with California and New Zealand, and I have one hol hol one lop, Holland lop. I don't know why you say that like that. But I'm not I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that because I'm not really like with tall lop, so I'm I'm not sure what the plan is for that little rabbit. Maybe as a pet. I I don't I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, that's pretty much it for you guys. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and like always, God bless. Goodbye.